I'm Dan Copel, uh, lead designer for the multiplayer part of Big Red One. This map is Kasserine. It represents a small village um, outside the Kasserine Pass where the U.S. was trying to pinch the, um, the Germans, the axis between uh, the British and the Americans, and they were moving east. They set up in the villages, and then the Germans decided to counterattack. This is the first time that um, the US, U.S. forces actually got to fight regular German infantry and the first time that they fought Rommel. This is uh, Alexander Conserva. I'm a programmer uh, on multiplayer. This map is great because it's a night map. I'm kind of partial to night maps myself. I think they just look really cool. And it gives you a lot of opportunities to hide in the shadow. Yeah, one of the nice things about this map is all the different uh, routes. There's obviously one main route, the road through the town. But going through the, the buildings and stuff like that, there's just uh, an enormous amount of different pathways you can take. So you can come up and attack them from many different sides. So even though the, yeah, the defenders can get there first to defend the area, um, getting the attackers in there, you know, coming up, they don't know which way you're coming from. So you, your element of surprise is definitely on the attacker's point of view. The neatest things about have this being a night map in the, in the actual single player game, this is a, a daytime, a dawn map. And uh, we decided for the multiplayer that when we brought it over for multiplayer, we wanted to do this as a night map. And uh, as soon as we did that, we just fell in love with it. Actually considered changing the single player game, but then we decided that probably wouldn't be too wise. Yeah, I think, uh, I think this map's also unique in that, unlike a lot of the other mis uh, missions where they're more of a, a traditional Western European architecture, this has got a very different feel to it, a feel that not a lot of people are really used to. Yeah, for the uh, architecture, we did a lot of research trying to uh, make sure that it felt authentic, that it felt like an authentic Tunisian village, um, especially outside around the uh, area of Kasserine. So yeah, we took a lot of, went and got a lot of footage off the net and other places to actually get a good feel of what uh, buildings and, and villages look in this area of the world. When uh, people first start playing this map, they really think because of the, the big broad uh, avenue that runs pretty much through the, that's the focal point of the whole map really, um, they think that the tanks really have the advantage, but after you start playing this map for a little while, you, you find that the tanks are almost at a disadvantage because it's so easy to hide in the dark and to let the tank roll by and then just to blow it up once it's gone by that, that uh, a lot of times you find people not even jumping in the tanks. Well, th that's the difference between a, a unit that works together and can have uh, infantry support for the tanks. I mean, and that's, that's something that's great about uh, Call of Duty and the fact that that kind of feeling comes out, that a tank isn't that overpowering. Um, and like reality, um, when, when tanks would go into villages all by themselves, they'd get torn apart pretty quickly. And, you know, you need your infantry support to, to find those guys hiding in the back of buildings.